Hi everybody. Uh, in this lesson, I will talk about how to customize React Native components using props. Uh, firstly, I must uh, comment this app component, uh, and uh, I will define my own components by right click and create a new folder. Uh, this folder is components. This will contains our self-defined components, uh, and right click to create a new file, JavaScript file. Uh, the first is robot.js. This file will contain the robot component. Uh, so inside this, I will import the image component uh, from React Native, uh, and I define a, a component in uh, the form of a class. So we have an export default to uh, make it public and a render function to render the user interface. So inside this, I add uh, an image component. So this image component, uh, I will search for an image and uh, image URL. Here, I uh, inspect element. And uh, I will see that we have the link to uh, an image, for example, uh, this uh, robot image. So I copy this link or URL and paste to here for testing. Yes, so this is a link to an image. So I will use this link to uh, embed into here. So the first is a source. The source is a prop or a property of image or public property of an image component. So inside this, I will add the JavaScript object uh, inside an JSX. And inside we have uh, an object, and this is an object of JavaScript. So we have the key is URL, and the value is a link to the image images. So uh, I will run the development server uh, for iOS, and uh, this is a debugger user interface in a in a Chrome. And so you can use it to debug your program inside this. Uh, and uh, I will, yes, app is not defined. What about this error? Because you have to import the robot component from uh, components, uh, current directory, and robots. Uh, not necessary to add the .js file and replace to here. OK, so you see that nothing to, wa to show. Why? Because you have to add uh, the property for width and height of an image. So inside this image, you have to add uh, the width and the height. Uh, so it is inside the style. So style is a property or prop of an uh, image component. Image component. Okay. So. Uh, we can see that it is a square image. So you can change the width for 300 pixel and the height is 200 pixel. Okay, so we have uh, the size here. Uh, you can also define an, uh, a variable, a constant, a variable uh, object and uh, image source. You can copy this object and paste to here. So you can replace this by this constant image source. Image source, okay? So it will point to this source. So you can separately define this as a constant because you do not change it. You can edit a let. Let is a variable but cannot reassign various type. You set string and you cannot set to uh, another type of object, etc. So you can use a var. So if var, you can change the value to any type. And if it is let, if it also can be changed. And uh, if it is constant, it cannot be changed. Uh, for example, here you cannot change a a constant. Yes. So uh, in this case, you see that. Uh, uh, we have uh, an arrow and refresh. You can refresh. Yes, so we have uh, the new uh, image here. Image here. So you create a new uh, component name, uh, multiple greetings. So this is another component. 
and uh, this component I uh, define for my own so inside this I import the text component uh, so uh, uh, we can use we can define multiple uh, class here so the first is a private component because it do not have a spot so this zit is private of a private uh, can be used inside this file so the reading only show to the screen about the text component and the text component shows that hello and the input here is a property yes uh, is a public property and the name is a uh, variable inside this you can use a name one name two as you like okay but uh, you also have a public component and this is part default uh, means that you can use it in another file so inside uh, the this component you can uh, use the written component inside the render function here so uh, let's pressing the uh, so it puts a view uh, you can uh, embed it into a view on the component uh, inside a view like a div in HTML so um, the property of the prop is style so inside a style you can uh, add the property of a, a line item to center and you can call the rating uh, components that have just defined before so uh, here is the name here is a property name so you can insert the property name here so the name and the name here is the same so uh, import the same uh, name to here you can add more text inside this hierarchy for example and you can add multiple uh, component uh, to written inside a view so two written here is the inside of view and the uh, multiple written can use the uh, written so uh, here you can import the multiple written form uh, components uh, uh, slash uh, dot slash component multiple written not necessary the GS okay so paste to here multiple written so the text is uh, overlapped uh, how can I fix this? You can add more enter to here, uh, but firstly you can uh, separate it to the string. Uh, for example, let written string and this using this, uh, uh, this and paste this text to here. So you can also uh, uh, so as a written uh, string to here and uh, if you want to add a variable you can use a dollar size the dollar size point are to use that uh, you use it as a variable inside a string and uh, so it is a, a string template and so you see that the output has you like uses a component and props thank you very much for watching this lesson uh, please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos or uh, download code in github for more